Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas. Tonight, Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment, brought to you in association with the King of Beers, Budweiser. Before we go on, ladies and gentlemen, tonight marks the first time in a quarter of a century that Top Rank at a major boxing event is without the services of fight site coordinator Jay Edson. Words cannot express how much Jay was loved and respected by all who knew him. On behalf of Bob Arum and everyone at Top Rank, we miss you, Jay. We miss your big smile, your warm heart, and we shall never forget you. Rest in peace, dear friend. And now we continue, ladies and gentlemen. These bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The three judges at ringside for this first contest, scoring the bout on a 10-point must system, will be Chuck Jampa, Jerry Roth, and Doug Tucker. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Tony Weeks. And now, let's get the party started. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant USBA Bantamweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing a white trimmed with purple and weighing in at 117 and one half pounds. An outstanding record consisting of 40 victories in 42 professional bouts, including 27 knockouts with only two losses. From our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., the former two-time world champion, Mark Tushaw. Johnson! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trimmed with gold letters, he officially weighed in at 117 and one half pounds also, and his professional record stands at 26 victories in 29 bouts, including 24 knockouts with three defeats. De Ciudad de Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas y Caballeros, Rafael Marquez. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Okay, you already received your instructions. I'll receive your instructions. Be careful with your head. Cuidado con su cabezas. Right here is good. Anything below that is going to be low. Aquí está bien. Aquí no. Right here is good. Anything below that is going to be low. Aquí está bien. Aquí no. Keep everything above the waist. Dedos en todo para arriba. I want a good, clean fight. Yo quiero uno play Olympia. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Escúchame. Cuídate. Ready? Listo? Ready? Let's go. Vamos. The stakes are high for these fighters. The winner will be declared a mandatory challenger for Bantamweight champion Tim Austin, supposedly to meet later this year. Uh, just a minor correction, Emmanuel. Uh, now I hear he said that Johnson claims to have beaten uh, Tim Austin two times in their two fights as amateurs. Well, he's never lost to him, that's for sure, <laughs> what he's saying. <laughs> we'll get Austin's side of the story yeah. some other time. Yeah, amateur boxing and professional boxing is different. Mark Too Sharp Johnson looking to see if his skills are too sharp. This is the fourth bout of his comeback. He had a 19-month layoff. He spent the better part of the year 2000 in jail for violating parole. Well, I can see right away that he's intended to try to go for a decision this time. He's intended to, to try to outbox Marquez instead of going for the knockout as he did in the last fight. Yes. You notice he's maintaining the distance this time, whereas the first time he was getting very close, which was playing into Marquez's game, but he's keeping his distance this time. Well, Johnson talked to us yesterday about the fact that 
He did not know that Marquez was so physically strong until he got him inside the ring. Marquez is also very difficult to hit clean, and he has a good jab of his own, which is unusual. I think his hand speed is surprising, at least to uh, me. When I was in the first fight, I was very surprised. Johnson, of course, the southpaw. Marquez fights out of the conventional stance. And I can see that Marquez has been training very well in preparing to fight a southpaw. He's doing everything properly. He's parrying Johnson's jab with his left hand and still in a position where he can counter with that same left hand. It's just what he did just then. Both fighters feeling their way here in the first round. I can tell that Johnson came in intended to box and handle him at a distance, but he's, he's probably becoming aware of the fact that that's not working. Marquez is showing surprisingly good boxing skills in this fight and may have the edge in the boxing right now. When we head into the corner of Rafael Marquez, Ray Torres will do the interpreting for us this evening. You gotta be live. He's closing the distance for you. You gotta throw more than one punch, two or three punches. Don't, don't let him win in that aspect. Make sure you throw punches. Are you fine? Is everything okay? Come out low, man. with your fate before you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go seconds out. What 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 happens right here is what happens often when you have a southpaw and a right hand to fight. Now often they get their legs crossed because their two lead legs come together at the same time. Manny, you talked about the distance between both fighters in the early going. Johnson told us yesterday in the first fight that initially he didn't respect Marquez's punching power ability, so he went in close in the first fight and possibly tired himself out in the later rounds, and he also got caught in the later rounds with a lot of shots. Yeah, he tried to go for the knockout because he was hitting him fairly easy, and he thought that he would have knocked him out since he hadn't heard anything about him. But this particular fight, it's, it's interesting. There's more boxing, but Marquez is holding his own in the boxing department. And I know later on the fight's going to get pretty hectic when both guys realize that they have not established a confident lead. In addition to the boom from the crowd. The crowd getting antsy <laughs> early on here at Mandalay Bay. Too sharp, fought the first fight like a hammer, and he's trying to fight this one like a knife. It isn't working. Quick counter by Marquez. Yeah, Marquez is sitting, waiting for him to come in and let him take that little slight step back and shoot the right hand counter. Much like Antonio Barrera does a lot when he fights southpaws. Marquez opens up. Blows to the body. Marquez is very sharp, and he's landing a lot of punches. That was that counter jab again. He's, sure landing, was. About, he's landing uppercuts a lot, too. A little short punches from underneath, which is interesting. 
I never saw him do that before. The other thing that was impressive about Marquez is counter Jack came over the top. Yes, he's working perfectly. He's using his left hand to counter, uh, to pick his punches off and to counter at the same time. He's actually fighting more of a counter punching fight than being effective at a different stage. Mark Two Sharp Johnson showing Rafael Marquez quite a bit of respect. Johnson said that this fight would tell him whether he's a young 30 or an old 30. He is uh, not proving that he's a young 30 yet. You know, and it's interesting. Marquez is doing something similar to Antonio Barrera, but he's improved a lot more going into this fight as compared to the last fight. And more in the boxing area, not so much in slugging. He's working very effective with his left jab. In addition to having a little right uppercut that he's shooting at. CompuBox punched at numbers for two rounds. Johnson threw 95 punches, but he only landed on 15 for a connection percentage of 16. Marquez, 21 of 63 for 33%. 16% not going to get it done. No. So far, this has been a good reason not to have a rematch. <laughs> a lot of respect for each other. I'm just hoping that the fight is close as it is, even though maybe a little slight edge may be to Marquez, but sometimes Johnson gets caught up in the heat of the battle and gets emotionally and commits fouls, and I think that possibly could be a factor, much as it was in the last fight, which cost him his decision. The first fight certainly heated up at about rounds four, five, and six. So we'll see if the second yeah. fight takes the same pattern. But even at this stage, Johnson was throwing a lot of punches. He, sure he, was. Was, he, was, he was so confident the last fight that he never had to respect that he's showing today. Yeah, but what happened then, of course, was he was a very tired horse coming down the stretch. That's correct. So oh, 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 maybe he is trying to pace himself Keep here, him but he might pace himself out of the fight. He's pacing himself, but <laughs> taking the risk of possibly getting the hand on points. It's okay when you're pacing yourself and you know you're comfortably with it, so you're saving it. But at this stage here, he has not been able to establish any career dominance. Looping right hand from Rafael Marquez. Marquez is showing a lot of different things in this fight. He's showed a very good shot, left jab over the shoulder, much like he just landed there. He's showing a right uppercut. Now he's added a looping right hand over top. He's doing a variety of things. Marquez getting busier here. And Johnson fires back with a good. counter right hand to the head. That right hand shook Marquez. Best punch of the fight. Okay, the fourth round's coming up. Now we got to start the fighting. You need to start fighting. You got to throw the body. Come on. When he jabs you, yeah, you make sure you counter that uh, left, right jab that he has. Coming, coming down too low. Keep it up. Okay. All right. The right hook that Johnson landed right there was the most effective punch for him in the first fight, and you may see him throwing more of those as the fight progresses. He was go, very effective go. with the right hook in the first fight. If Marquez follows his corner's instructions and starts to try to make a brawl of it, then we'll see how sharp too sharp can be. I'm talking the edge out. 
All right, let's bring in Harold Letterman to see how he has the fight score through three. Okay, Fred, not much of an action fight. 29 to 28, two rounds to one, mock two sharp Johnson. I thought he won the first round, very, very close round using the right jab. Round three, I gave him mostly on the basis of that tremendous right hook. Then he landed the late. The second round, I thought Mark has uh, punched him. But you know, Fran, the key to this fight, as I see it so far, is Mark Johnson circles. And he circles to the left. He's trying to square up in front of Marquez. And, and I'll tell you, it's the wrong way. He's, I mean, he's actually moving into the right hand to Rafael Marquez. And Marquez is going to nail him with a watch. I have it two rounds to one in favor of Marquez. Which means we have a good fight. No, I don't know what it means. We have a close fight. <laughs> there is a difference. It's, it's going to get warmed up, believe me. I can see it happening. The, the difference is sometimes you watch Marquez, it looks like he's hurt because he's a little bit clumsy on his feet at times and gets his legs crossed, whereas Johnson seems to maintain much better balance. Hard shots to the body by Rafael Marquez. This is his first rematch of his career. He talked to us yesterday about knowing he's not as fast as Johnson, so he said he really worked on his hand speed in camp. Can you improve your hand speed that much, Emmanuel? I think you can, particularly if you have good sparring partners on the fans. It's the best there it is, is having someone. Jimmy Ellis used to be Muhammad Ali's best sparring partner when Ali was in his prime, mainly because of speed. In fact, when Ali couldn't fight, Jimmy Ellis' sparring partner went on to win the heavyweight championship of the world. <laughs> Johnson now coming through the right uppercut, firing off left hooks. Action starting to pick up here in the fourth. Johnson was off balance there. And Johnson is starting to get busier now. I think he's realizing that he hasn't established the kind of lead that he wanted to feel comfortable about, so he's becoming much busier now. Rafael Marquez planting both feet, standing right in there in the middle. As the two trade big shots here to end the fourth round. This is the beginning of what's going to be happening later. Pulling down with your hands down again. Everything else is nice. And you begin to reach. While you're reaching, I like to know, behind your jab, the boy's trying to trip you up because you got to turn your hands around. You got to turn your hands around now. Come on, hold up. He knows. The ref knows what he's doing. Uh, the referee has to be warned. Okay, you gotta throw punches. You gotta throw combinations. Not just one punch. A jab and a hook. A jab and a hook. And then the, the uppercut is very important. You gotta use that. That fifth round. CompuBox numbers a little bit closer here in the fourth round. Johnson 14 of 52 for 27 percent. Marquez 17 of 46, 37 percent. Both fighters are going to be busier now because they're trying to make sure that they get a lead. Because I think both guys are concerned. And Johnson is looking seemingly to try to land that straight left right through the center. Oh, no, and Marquez is going to have to pick up the pace a little bit more himself. Johnson lunges because, in yeah. with the right hook to the body. Johnson says between the first fight and this fight he said physically he was prepared for the first fight but mentally he was not he was in the midst of going through a divorce he says this time around he is focused most physically 
and mentally. Also coming off the first loss in over 11 years in his career. That could have a, a mental effect as well. Tony Weeks warning Rafael Marquez, Over there. Over there. keep the shots Pull up. Pull the Take your time, you're five. Okay, Johnson, I don't want you to retaliate, all right? Okay. Stay right here. You may have heard okay. the referee, referee Tony okay. Weeks say to Johnson, I don't want to see you retaliate. Ready? Okay, let's go. Time in. Let's, go. let's see if he Clear retaliates. Clear the fight. I'd like to see somebody retaliate for something. Johnson yeah. gets caught by a right hand from Marquez. <laughs> Big right uppercut by T Sharp Johnson. Marquez is starting to find his target with that straight shot right here through the center. Johnson looking for spots to get inside. Marquez not backing away. Ah, Mike's pick it up. Let him go. You, you're winning the round, but very close. You, you're not throwing enough punches. Come on, you hear me? Yeah, the rounds are too close. They're going to give it to him. The low blow was a type of a low blow where he was probably being pulled down and he didn't intend to go blow it just to wear it straight. But I don't think it hurt him too much. Watch that body. Two or three dead. Body shot hurt him, Sam. Leave his hand. Let's go. Seconds out. Johnson uh, owns two hair salons and a barber shop. So far, this fight is like watching hair grow. <laughs> Marquez's corner would like to see more action, more punches thrown. Though Marquez did pretty good in the power punch department that last round. 15 that's a, that's a counter right hand. Right hand. Big counter right hand to the head of Johnson. Both fighters started boxing at an early age. I think Marquez started when he was six years old because his father was a former flyweight champion in Mexico. And I've been knowing Mark all of his life. His whole family has been into boxing, his father and mother. In fact, ever since he was two years old, I've known him. So he's been boxing all of his life. Marquez working on his counter material. Catches Johnson coming in with a left hand. Fight's close, Manny. What would you like to see Johnson do to become more active? I think he's going to have to be busier than that because he's, 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 he's sitting, and, and for the most part, his timing is just a hair off. It's not, not that far, but it's just enough where Marquez is going to penetrate him, particularly with those straight punches. Marquez busting through the defense right there. 
I would like to see Mark start moving on his feet more, boxing with angles. He's he's boxing, but he's not really using his feet, so to say. So it's just it's just in front of the guy fighting. And if the fight continues as the pattern is set, falling into it's going to favor Marquez going down the stretch. Hardest shots yeah. of the oh, fight stop, thrown stop. here in the sixth oh, round. And they're very short, sharp punches, too. I'd like to see Mark box more using his feet. You need to change around, give him more angles. This is the first round of the fight where either fighter has been dominant. That fighter has been Marquez. Don't, don't go to the ropes now. Stay away from the ropes. In the center of the ring. That's where you need to be. But it's, it's easy if you get in there. You've got to throw your punches. Please listen to me. Don't make it go. Don't stay in there bang with the boy. Because you're loading up again. And you ain't going here. You're taking under. You doing this shit. Now stick it in, take it up. Box the man. Everything right here. And keep your hands moving. Keep your hands moving. Put them off you. you ain't got to get brave. Don't get brave. Ham Johnson, father and trainer of Too Sharp Johnson, telling him not to get brave. Let's bring in Harold Letterman to see how he has a fight go. score through six. Okay, Fred, 58-56, four rounds to two, Mark Tushop Johnson. Fred, I gotta tell you, it's like the first fight. Mark Johnson gets so fast. The Mark has did very, very little in the early rounds of the first fight. Same thing here. And in round six, all of a sudden, he, he starts, he picks up the pace, and he mugged him. And I gotta tell you, it looks like he's taking control of this fight. So, four to two. 58-56 uh, Johnson, but the uh, the momentum is all with Marquez. I have the fight even. Rafael Marquez, the brother of the more popular more well-known Juan Manuel Marquez. Comes in at 26 and three. 24 wins by knockout. All three of his losses coming by knockout as well. Show you how tough this kid is in his pro debut. He took on Victor Robin Alice. Robin Alice, a former Bantamweight champ. Robin Alice was fighting his 56th fight. Alton, stop, stop. I don't know if that was brave or dumb management. <laughs> it was a, it was a he, he probably didn't have a choice. That was sinker. That's a sinker swim school of a boxer. <laughs> See what you got off the bat. Marquez trying to size up Johnson. Loves to punch down. Loves to come over the top. Experience and his 
southpaw movement back and forth at different angles is what got him through that. <laughs> Johnson survives. He looked like a very old 30 in that round. Wait, when I got him, I got him. Give me a walk. Give me a walk. Your hands down. How many fingers I got? Him? You want me to stop it? Get yeah, move back with your hands down. Keep your hands up. You okay? You sure? You keep your goddamn hands up. How you feel? The right hand that Marquez knocked him down with is the right hand that he's been concentrating on all night. I mean, you can see he's been totally focusing a lot on that straight, short right hand. And he did something very beautiful. He shot a jab to the body and then shot the right hand on the chin. And Mark never even saw it. Mark Johnson has had a terrific career, mostly in the uh, small world of boxing, not too well known outside of, the, of boxing. And he's on the verge, perhaps, stop, 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 stop. of seeing that no, no, career no, no. end. He himself no, no. said if he loses this fight, there's no money out there for him to make, and he would seriously consider retirement. He spent a great time, a bit of a time in the interview yesterday, speaking of possibly retirement, which was, to me, uh, unusual. Yeah, there's an old saying, when you talk about retirement, you're retired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's on your mind. Johnson told us, big paydays aren't worth it if I can't count the money. Marquez is doing so many different things in this fight compared to the first. He's jabbing, he's actually counter punching, he's shooting right uppercuts, but seemingly his head punches that little straight, sharp right hand through the center. You know, for Marquez, that first fight was a kind of breakthrough fight. He had always considered himself inferior to his brother, lesser known than his brother. He was uh, a top featherweight prospect, and now it uh, at one of the higher ranking featherweights and that was a breakthrough and and he thinks now that he can be a fighter and he's been fighting in a very positive confident way right from the start you're very right well he said that in the uh, interview yesterday and seemingly he did a lot of work in between the last fight to try to attain that also and, and he's got a good brother for a sparring partner which he's probably been sparing with all of his life <laughs> Confidence growing. Oh, Raphael yeah. Marquez catches yeah, Johnson with a shot. big left hook to the body. And Johnson goes down. Five. Six. I see the look in Johnson's eye that I saw in Alexis Aguello. Come to me, Johnson. The second Come fight to me. when he fought right? Aaron Pryor. Right, is is this worth it? It'll be another test of survival here for Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Late in the eighth round. Marquez connects with a right hand. Tony Weeks waves it off. Stunning developments. Mark Two Sharp Johnson knocked down three times by Rafael Marquez in their Bantamweight rematch. The bout being stopped in the eighth round at the two minute, 41 second mark. Mark Johnson, a fighter who never got all the credit he deserved because he fought in the lower weight divisions where very few American fighters have ever been popular. And now it looks like he's reached the end. Fortunately, he says he has a number of businesses that give him an income and that he can afford to retire. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Weeks waves off the 10 count and calls a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 41 seconds of round number eight. 
the winner by knockout victory. He is now the USBA Bantamweight Champion, the Ciudad de Mexico, Rafael Marquez.